was sending me that. That was a headshot. And then I would have been like, BAM! Oh! Oh! That was raw! Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Zeus the Moose, and I am back with another live commentary with some gameplay, guys. As you can tell on the screen, I have some gameplay up. I decided to uh, start out something new. I was like, why not do commentaries while talking? You see, I pick up that triple, I'm going for the quad, tear in a clutch, I hit the quad on screen, very nice. Looking for the fifth guy, find the fifth guy, and he does a pretty dope little roll. <laughs> Yeah guys, so basically I just thought why not try something like this I thought you guys would enjoy you guys get to watch clips So we're still doing the whole clip thing But I also get to talk about things I want to talk about future upcoming stuff Gears of War stuff personal stuff I'm gonna be doing story time and basically in my opinion I just think it's a lot awesome a lot more awesome for you guys to be able to watch and listen while watching content right here I hit a quad. This is actually a pretty dope clutch. I think it was like a 1v8. I hit that quad I kill a couple more people but um, yeah guys, so basically what I want to do with this series is it's going to be two things. Number one, it's going to be a story time series where I talk about just, you know, whatever I want. And number two, it's going to be um, informational series. So number one, first thing I want to say is Gears of War 4 has been confirmed that there will be no retro or sawed off. That is fucking unreal, guys. Let me know what you think of that. Let me know if you guys are pumped up. We got the beta coming in, what, eight days? This is unfucking real, guys. I'm getting super hyped. So on that note, you know, I'm just trying to put out as much content and just have a good time. But here, here we go. Let's get into another topic, guys, you know, because why not? I decided I'll be doing story time because I always thought story time would be a fun thing. And you guys get to connect with me more. And, you know, we just build more of a personal connection instead of just me hitting a bunch of clips. So basically, this is what we're going to talk about this time. It, it's just a pretty crazy story. And it's pretty funny. And in my opinion, don't do this. Don't be this guy. In this story, don't be this guy. So basically, the other day, I was at the gym, I was playing basketball with a bunch of my homies, we were playing five on five, and we were playing full court, and you know, I always play basketball with my homies, like, it's usually like, we play like three, four days out the week, and we all go, and we play five on fives, it's awesome, you know, we love it, we play the full court inside gym, it's always a great time. So basically, guys, <laughs> we're playing this game, we're playing up to 21, we're playing by ones and twos, you know, my team's slaying it, I'm doing great, I got like 10 points at the time, I'm like our team's MVP, I'm feeling it, I'm tall, I'm like 6'2", so I'm getting up there, you know, I'm trying to dunk on these motherfuckers, because, you know, that's what we do here, fucking Chicago boy, <laughs> now I'm just playing, but, um, so basically, this is where the story gets real. Basically, I had this guy who was guarding me, and he was playing really sloppy defense, which, I mean, like, I, I ain't gonna bash him, but, like, he just could have been playing better defense. So basically, a couple plays go by, and I go for a layup, and I hit a layup on him, and when I come down from the layup, he lands on my left ankle, and so I roll my left ankle. So when I fall and I roll my left ankle, I'm like, ah, and I'm in so much pain. I don't know if you guys ever, like, you know what it's like to roll an ankle, but it ain't fun. So basically, one of my buddies was like, oh, come on, Tommy, stop being a bitch. Get back in the game. So, of course, with my freaking dumbass, I'm like, all right, then I'm going to get back in the game. So I run and I get back in the game, and I'm like, come on, then, let's go. You know, you want to act like a tough guy? Where you at now? So I get back in the game. Now the score is basically at, um, we get up to 19 to 16. My team's winning. We're going up to 21. I'm playing on a bad ankle. I feel like a warrior, though, because I got back in the game, right? Tell me why, guys. I promise you guys. So, 19 to 16. It's crazy. The All-Star game. Our team's up. I got, like, 14 points. I was like, fuck it. Give me the ball. I'm going to take the two for the win, right? So, I get past the ball. I break the dude's ankles. I go to take the shot. I fuck perfect, perfect freaking shot. I come down from the shot, and the fucking same guy lands on my other ankle, yo. <laughs> So I fall to the ground with both rolled ankles, and now I'm just done. I don't know if you guys ever rolled uh, one ankle, but I rolled both. So now I'm just, I'm out of it. I'm like, ah, leave me alone. I'm freaking disformed. Call me Bambi or some shit. So now I'm just dying of laughter and having a good time, but I'm in so much pain. So my buddy, he's like, man, stop being a bitch. It didn't hurt that bad. And this is where the moral of the story comes in. I decide to sit out because I can't do this anymore. Basically, they decide to run another game back. That same guy who was talking shit, he then jams his finger the next game. And you know what he does, guys? 
he goes home. He goes home. He talks all that shit. He jams one finger. He goes home. Moral of the story is don't be a bitch. <laughs> nah. I'm just playing though, guys. I just wanted to start doing something like this because I think it's really fun, interactive. You guys are also allowed to watch clips because I know you guys love the clips, but it also gives you a chance to interact with me. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know and let me know what else you'd like to see. Peace out, homies. Have a good one.